Let's go. Gong 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 gong. Hola. Yay. Started in the summer Meanwhile,
I'm currently editing the video and to, just to end this video I just want to say a few more things so if you're curious your experience from booking to travel I will mention it here pero kung hindi ako, may mga hindi ako na mabanggit here ilalagay ko na lang sa description box. First of all, sa booking, sobrang dali lang mag-book. 
first thing that I did is pumunta ako sa Facebook and just search Little Boracay Kalatagan Batangas and then sobrang dami na nang makikita mga posts. Alam ko iba-iba talaga yung nagkikater or yung nagahandle ng mga floating cottages. For me, um, dalawa yung napagtanungan ko. So, yung una, hindi namin siya kinuha since first, expensive siya. I think it's 4,500 agad yung pinakamababa nilang price. Tapos yung itsura ng mga cottages nila is sobrang colorful. Eh, ang habol namin is aesthetically pleasing. So, sa pangalawa yun, nakita namin yung dalawang um, category na hinahanap namin. Um, meron silang 4,000 lang na floating cottage na white na. So, aesthetically pleasing. Tapos, dun pala sa pagbook nyo, yung 4,000 pesos is good for 10 person. So, kahit na less than 10 persons, 4K pa rin yung babayaran nyo. Pero, pag nag-over kayo ng 10, add lang kayo ng, I think, 450 pesos each. Travel time namin, um, we are from Santa Rosa, Laguna. We left here exactly 4 a.m. Dumating kami doon, wala pang 7. Close to 7 na. Since 7 a.m. yung open no Little Boracay, so on time lang kami nakarating doon. I will mention naman yung um, pros or yung mga nagustuhan namin sa Little Boracay. So first, it is pet friendly. So, yun yung maganda since meron kaming dog. Kung hindi siya pet friendly, hindi talaga makakasama yung tatay ko kasi walang magbabantay. Hindi niya kayang iwanan ng aming baby. And then, ayun, may life vests din. Kasi ako, like me, hindi ako marunong lumangoy. So, definitely lifesaver siya. Tapos, yung little Boracay, hindi siya katulad ng... Um, like yung mga beach talaga na malalalim like sa La Union, gano'n yung beach dito is meron mga shallow parts at may malalalim so four stops yung aming pinuntahan another thing is I would really recommend you guys to go to Little Boracay ng December or hindi summer kasi as far as I know, pag summer talaga, siksikan yung mga floating cottages doon, like tabi-tabi. Pero ngayon, since punta kami ng December, sobrang konti lang and sulit. Hindi masyadong matao, magano peaceful. So, yun yung mga pros na nakita namin. So, when it comes naman sa cons, I think um, yung mga cons na to, mga issues na to is personally sa akin lang talaga since na-encounter ko tong mga to sa so first stop pa lang namin um, nakakita na agad kami ng sea urchin so yung sea urchin I will put yung photo here for our second stop since medyo malalim na siya we tried to roam around ito naman si ako Nung medyo malayo na kami sa floating cottage namin, is may nasipa ako matigas. Naisip ko agad na baka si urchin yun. Pero ayun, pag ahon ko, nakita ko dumudugo. Tanong na lang ako dun sa guide namin and yun, kinonfirm niya it's si urchin na. Another thing is... Sabi ng tito ko, yung ibang cottages, parang may mga hagtan. Yung amin kasi wala. And I think, sobrang helpful sana nun kung may hagdan sana yung floating cottage namin. Kasi, super nag-struggle kami yung lahat umakya. So, yun lang naman. Pero, all in all, I would really recommend um, Little Boracay. For um, other information, like yung Facebook page na na nakita ko, ilalagay ko na lang siya sa yung link sa description box that's it for this video if you guys like this please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe 
to my youtube channel so you guys will be updated every time i upload a new video so, bye